Hello, hello everyone. Hello, this is Vonda with Vonell, your global success mentor that shares inspirational strategies for those that are desiring and seeking more. Hello, thank you for coming in and catching the 811 with Vonell. Thank you. Remember, eight is the number of new beginnings. Eleven is the number of inspiration and intent. And right now is the time that we need all the inspiration that we can get. We need all the motivation that we can get. And after this series of chaos is over, it will be a new beginning. This is the beginning of a new season. And so this is only just for a due time. And then we'll be starting over. So I wanted to jump on here today and say hello, hello. And just share some things um, with you. This is episode number 17 on the Podbean, Vonell, the one Vonell at podbean.com. And you can find me, remember, on all social media at One Vonell. Don't forget to get out and vote on June the 20th now since everything has been pushed back and everything has been changed. But this, this too will pass. This too will pass. And I know so many people are focusing on not catching it, not catching it, not catching it. And... I just want to remind you, instead of focusing on not catching it, be grateful that it's not coming your way. Just be grateful and be thankful and say, you know what, uh, thank you for a healthy family. Thank you for, you know, protecting us and covering us. Thank you. Instead of saying, you know what, well, please, uh, you know, Lord, please don't send it our way, please, or Say thank you for being covered and being shielded and protected. Having that awesome immune system already built up and instilled in you. Be thankful for that. It is, it is a trying time. But I want to share with you to be productive. Multiply during this time. And when I say multiply, I'm not talking about babies. No, 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 not talking about babies, not talking about another baby boom. No, I'm talking about be fruitful with self, multiply self. Think about where you can go, what you can do. He said at the beginning to multiply. He said to multiply. Think what can you do to multiply? What can you do to multiply your service? What can you do to multiply your your skill set? What can you do to multiply your production of what you do on the other end? What can you do to multiply? Some of you are awesome individuals. You are excellent cooks. You are excellent chefs. Oh my gosh. I know some awesome cooks. I know some people that can cook their butt off. Multiply that. Take that skill set and use that and go out and, and, and share that. D put a dish on somebody's front porch. Put a dish on uh, so your neighbor's front porch and say, you know what, here's, here's an extra pie, here's an extra cake that I have. Because you never know their situation. Some of us are just skilled at mechanics. We just have that hand, that touch, that make things just always work together, could fix it, could figure it out. Help someone else. You know that this is the time where, you know, their vehicle have been down. Use your time. Say, you know what, my shop is closed. Let me come in and do your oil change for you. Let me come in. Let me, let me help you with those brake pads that need. I heard your car squeaking. Take your time out and multiply self. I know it's, it's, it sounds kind of crazy, but right now we're going to be sitting around, um, or some of us will be sitting around. Some of us are in the healthcare and we're constantly working and driving and, you know, moving to the next level um, and trying to help our community and sustain our community. But some of us are going to be doing nothing. Take this time out. Read. 
Take this time out. Write the book that you need to read. Multiply that series and make that other book. Take this time out to multiply self. If you have a business, see what you got to do to make your second location on the other side of town. Take this time out to meditate and to rebuild your relationship with self. Some people can't be alone. Some people are just fearful of being alone and being by themselves. And so this is a time where you could conquer whatever fear that you have. Being alone, finding something to do, finding something that, you know, a new skill set that you wanted to tap into, yarning, knitting, um, painting, whatever it may be. This is the time, y'all. Don't let this time go by and and be wasteful. Please don't let this time be a wasteful time. Yes, I know it's tiresome. Yes, I know it's frustrating. Yes, I know it's very discouraging and it's stressful and anxiety is kicking in. I know all of those things. I'm dealing with that on every hand. With family, with friends, with students, with colleagues, with business. I'm dealing with the same thing. But your mindset, oh my goodness, your mindset. If you say what I can do and what I possibly can't do, and this may not happen, that, no. I can do this, and I'm capable of doing this. Start taking your time and be productive with it. Multiply your skills. Multiply your talents. Multiply your gifts. Multiply whatever it is. Take it and multiply it. Multiply that service. We have people, I saw on the news today, that were actually um, making the mask and sewing to give to the hospital. They was pulling out their own sewing machine. Some of you guys have a skill set in sewing that is immaculate. Give back. Make that mask for the neighbor next door that can't afford to go buy any. Make that mask for the individuals that you know cannot even get them in because they're on back order. Take food to that to that pharmacy that is open that is not going to stop. Drop off the food in the, in the drive through Drop off, you know, some cakes and cookies for the people at the hospital that are continuously going around the clock to help save our community, to help save our state. Y'all multiply your time. Take this time to meditate on where you can go. I know I'm going to use this time to see, okay, what's my next step? What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? What moves do I need to make? And this is the time where I can med meditate on it and wait for clarity and a clear answer so that I know that I'm moving, not because of what I want to do, but I'm moving because it is what I'm destined and designed to do. It's time to multiply. It's time to be productive, reproduce. And not about babies, but reproducing and multiplying self. That's what I want to share with you guys on today. You guys, take this video and share it with someone. It's not just, you know, full and 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 just, you know, oh, oh, oh. This is something very simple. This is something very simple during this time of crisis in our, in our country, in the U.S., in the world. But, y'all... We got to make the best out of it because everything is already planned out and predestined. Everything is already planned out. Don't let it rock or shake your faith. Don't let it rock or shake your faith. Stand strong, stand still, and believe that this too shall pass and it will pass and you will be of good health and good strength. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. That is, y'all, the 811 with Vonda Vonell, your global success mentor that shares inspirational strategies for those that are desiring and seeking more. Thank you for sitting in and catching the 811. Check out my uh, podcast podcast on podbean.com one vonell and check me out on youtube at one vonell this will be posted on all of my social media um links and i just can't stress it enough y'all 
Remember, it will pass. And you, and you, and you, and you, each and every one of you will be in good health. You will be in good health. Have the faith and believe. See you tomorrow. I'm going to be posting more um, podcasts and, and videos to just encourage and motivate. And I just pray that every time God gives me the word to give to you. So it's not just a ramble. It's something that has been given to me to share with you. You guys be blessed and peace. Take this and share it. Be blessed. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Bye.